Guys, look what we found underneath the building. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and this video we're actually doing something different. Still working with lumber but our insurance company said you can't have any falling down buildings on your property. So we're going to be tearing down this old potting shed. I don't know if you can see this. At least what I thought was a potting shed. Um, come to find out from our neighbor whose brother built this house in the 30s. Uh, this was a smokehouse. He raised pigs and butchered them in this house, in this smokehouse. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be tearing this thing down and then we'll be salvaging some of the lumber, as you can see on the trailer here. And then we'll vote and see what you guys want to make with it. You can park right over here, next, next to the Festiva. So some guys are starting to show up and so we will uh, do a little time lapse and get this thing taken down. So here in this shot, all we're doing is we have a couple of my friends came out and they decided to come help me with the shed um, to help tear it down. It was, um, I thought it was pretty urgent. The insurance company seemed pretty urgent to get me to get this thing taken down. And so it was pretty cool to be able to tear this thing down and just see how it was built. We were trying to be pretty careful um, to conserve some of the resources there, some of the lumber. Um, you can see us there being kind of gentle. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of my friends wanted just to come in there and Hulk smash everything in there and just tear it down. But uh, we were able to save some 2x4s. If you look in here, um, when it was zoomed in, you can notice that the, some of the 2x4s are full dimensional lumber. So they don't make lumber like that anymore it was a literal two inches by four inches which if you guys measure a two by four now they are inch and a half by three and a half so this is some nice heart pine lumber that we're going to be saving and um, i'm really excited for that so if you see my friends here we're gonna pull the truck around and we're gonna tear it down we got all the siding off and once the siding was off it was a lot more flexible I guess and the building was going to come down easier but if you see me here <laughs> I actually break the strap the first time um, so when I pull boom it breaks and so um, I pulled too hard I got a little aggressive I wanted a really good shot of it pulling it down um, we were able to get it down there we had a kind of a hard time wanting to flip it over so we busted a hole in the roof tied a strap around it again and we pull the roof upside down so it's easier to take apart um. now that it's upside down we can literally take all the stuff apart and I can use the rafters and joists um, and as usable lumber if you'll see here in a second too once we bust this roof apart that the slats that were used to hold the roof on uh, were made of cedar some really nice cedar uh, as well as the siding was also made of cedar and my buddy Chris he used all of the slats that are on the roof underneath the metal roof part and he's gonna build I think he's gonna build a feature wall so we were able to get some really good lumber out of it and um, the trailer here I have a lot of the good stuff that I'm keeping um, on the closer side to the camera I'm storing all that good lumber there. Everything that was attached to the ground, you see my buddy Cliff to the right, he's kind of breaking up the foundation there. And all that stuff was huge, big pieces of lumber, but it was pretty rotted, had some bug damage, so we, didn't, we decided not to keep those. Now what you saw there a second ago was my friend holding up. We had some carpenter bees that were slowly coming out of this wood. So it was kind of a good idea to pull this thing down because we had some bug damage. And there you can see my baby girl, my buddy holding my baby girl. Guys, look what we found underneath the building. So I was digging through this dirt, right? Because I had some holes that I had to go fill in my driveway over there. 
And look, there's like an old scarecrow looking thing with a weird like nose on it or something. It's like this pot. It's got a paint old paint can paint can with some cloth. Super weird. Look at that. It's so nasty. It's like that stuff was buried under here. Super sketch. Why they would bury it under the building, I have no idea. Super weird. And nasty. All right, guys. So the shed is down. It's completely gone. And now we have a trailer full of stuff that we're gonna build something out of. I want you guys to do me a favor, leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know what I should do with those uh, two by fours and some of the siding and stuff that we've taken apart on the shed. Actually, what would be really cool is I have no idea what to do with the roofing. What sh is, do you think we can do anything with this old metal roof? I don't know. Let me know. We actually took some of the stuff that was all nasty and rotted and broken. We had a really big burn pit here last night. Huge fire. Um, super nice. So we might do another, another one out here later. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I know it's a little bit different than our normal videos. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave me a comment saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't do any more of these types of videos. <laughs> I don't know. But um, it was fun. I needed to do it because my insurance company said so. And so be sure to stay tuned with the Goodview Woodworks channel. I try to post up as frequently as possible. If you guys have any questions, never feel, don't hesitate to ask. Always feel free to ask whatever you need to. As always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us.